Hello everyone and welcome back to Extra Gaming Whenever. I'm Sean and I'm going to be taking you through a walkthrough slash playthrough of Super Mario RPG. This is part 10. We're going to be checking out Booster's Pass, then tackling Booster's Tower until we get to Booster's Hill. See a pattern here? And if you haven't had a chance to check out part nine, that's all about Moleville. We got our third star and it allowed us to move on in the game. Hey, did you remember to stop and get the tenor card? Go check out the short on the channel so you can see exactly how to do that. Now, as we begin part 10, we start in Booster's Pass, which is not a very long section in Super Mario RPG. A couple things to note in this area, there are two hidden treasures and there are several new enemies. Some of the enemies that we will encounter are the Caraboxis. These are weird looking carrot creatures. The Spikesters, which is just a spiky, but green and a little bit more powerful. The Artichoker, which are hiding in plain sight. And of course, a Lakitu who is throwing the Spikesters. Now in this section, we are going to be battling all the enemies. We're going to be searching high and low for the two hidden treasures, which were a little difficult to find for me on my first playthrough. But we're going to speed this up and you're going to see exactly where to find those hidden treasures, which is awesome. Now that we found our two hidden treasures, we can move on to the next part now as we travel to the next section of Booster's Pass. We will see a sign and when we read that sign, it's going to say Monster List Agent. Now this is pretty interesting and I don't think this was in the original game, but please correct me if I'm wrong. There is a way to be a completer in this game and basically get the information and the weakness and all the attributes of every single monster in the game and if you pay this monster agent three coins you can start to fill out that list now of course you can use mallow's thought peak special attack and if you time it correctly you'll also get that information but that's a little bit of a tedium and again for completers only now, if you go down into the valley of where the monster agent is then you jump, you will catch a button. Uh, I actually didn't know the button was there. I just happened to jump and I jumped on this button and then it defeated all the enemies in this area, which I was a little upset at because I like to earn my experience points as I go through certain areas. But alas, if you're a speed runner and you don't want to battle anything, then you can just hit that button and then keep on going. Moving on, we get to the base of Booster's Tower, which starts an epic cutscene with Bowser, and eventually he joins your team.
Booster's Tower has some amazing music that changes the farther you go up in the tower. There are several enemies in the tower that we will be encountering. And uh, the first few are called Snifters, and they are, uh, you know, Booster's henchmen. And we're going to take care of the first few on the first floor. As you make your way up the steps, you're going to see a, a wall of portraits. And I'm going to tell you right now, that way you don't waste your time. Get a pen and paper and write down each of the faces. I used like clues. I would be like red hat, uh, glasses, weird beard. And you want to remember the order of the booster faces because that's going to come up big later when we have to complete a puzzle. Now that you've taken the time to write down those booster faces or take a screenshot, whatever, whatever works for you. This time we start to make our way up the tower and we are just in an everlasting enemy barrage. And I felt that this was the perfect time to grind out some levels. So I spent a lot of time doing that. We're not going to watch every battle as usual. We're going to speed on through this. But I will tell you that Gino gets to level 11 and Mallow gets to level 14 and Bowser gets to level 9. And then we're going to cue the montage because eventually we're going to get Mario to level 17, Mallow to level 17, Gino to level 15 and Bowser to level 14. Like I said, I grinded this area because it was just an unlimited amount of enemies. In fact, I did hardly moved at all. I let the enemy hit me. But after we have leveled up and we are ready to move on, that brings upon another cutscene with Booster. So let's enjoy that. After the cutscene, if you go back into this area, you'll encounter a Snifster and you'll have to battle it. If you go into the other area, you will find a flower tab. So don't forget to grab that flower tab. Now again, as we make our way up, up, up again in Booster's Tower, we are now going to encounter more enemies. And they look like bomb arms, but they're actually rob arms or whatever. They're a little purple, a little off color from the original bomb arms. And we're just sort of making our way through it. Again, not going to watch every battle. They're pretty easy. Now that I'm all leveled up, we're one, sh we're one shotting them. It's really wonderful. We cut around the corner and there's a couple places to go. We can actually go down to this middle area and we jump perfectly and land perfectly and time it right. We will land on the seesaw. The raw bomb or the bomb bomb will jump up and hit us up to grab that uh, treasure box, that uh, question block or whatever you call it. Let's try it now. Absolutely terrible. Missed it. Let's just speed up and try again. Missed it again, whatever, it's not a big deal. Maybe third time's a charm. We tried again and nailed it. Absolutely, I could have cut that out, but I didn't. Uh, we get an awesome item there, uh, which is the Masher. The Masher is a great weapon to have. In fact, it gives plus 20 to the attack. Now, uh, now that we've gotten the Masher, we are going to go back upstairs and now we're going to continue on. And oh my gosh, there's a button. What does this button do? Let's jump on it and whoop de doop -de. Something happened in Booster's Pass. We're going to completely do a sidebar because we just need to see what's going on there. So let's jump on down again. Let's get on over to Booster's Pass and let's see what's happening. As you make your way back to Booster's Pass, this is a time where you could actually jump off and, and look at the agent or talk to the agent and yeah, throw them some frog coins and start filling out that monster list. But you can check out the short for more information on that. If you go to the first area in Booster's Pass, you will now see like a cave area, which is uh, which was not there earlier, which is cool. 
And now we go through that and uh, there is gaps to jump and we jump and we jump and we meet the apprentice and the apprentice is trying to join in on Booster's team. So he challenges Mario to a battle and we absolutely waylay him and it's, he's an easy defeat and he's very disappointed. He's got to start the training course over. But if we jump to the end, there will be three boxes you will get a flower tab you will get a frog coin and you will get a croca cola so a pretty good haul uh considering that we had to backtrack a little bit but let's snap our fingers and get right back to booster's tower so we're making our way again up in Booster's Tower. This is a cool little Easter egg. If you go behind this curtain, all of a sudden you are NES style Mario and you can sort of stay like this and the music is playing and it's super cool until you sort of uh, start to exit out the door and then you will become small and turn back to Mario RPG. And of course, as we go up, there are more battles. There are chain chomps. There are uh, other enemies uh, that are sort of jester-like, and we are just uh, making our way up the tower. At this save block, let's check our time. We are officially eight hours and 10 minutes into this game, which is phenomenal. Again, I spent a few hours grinding this game to make sure that my characters were up in level so we had an easy time making our way through bosses. What did I tell you? Look at this puzzle. You have to now put the family portraits in order. Watch closely as I do it and let's see what we get for our efforts. Oh, look at this the chomp chomp the chain chomp is now back in bowser's good graces we have released him we have uh, saved the chain chomp there's this weird little cutscene, and then we can actually equip the chain chomp to bowser as a weapon and now bowser gets plus 10 in his attack Don't forget to grab that mushroom to raise that HP and then jump on the ramp so that thwomp can throw you up. Up to the next level in Booster's Tower and we have another hidden treasure. It's in the corner. Let's jump to it, get a frog coin. Let's make our way onto the platform, battle these enemies and get through this room. Hey, check out in this hallway, there is also another frog coin, so make sure you grab it. In this interesting area, we're not exactly in the mood to battle at this point, so we're sort of evading enemies, we're making our jumps, we're battling here and there, until we get to this coin room. Now, it looks enticing, and there's coins everywhere, but there are also lava blubbles around, so as you make your way through this coin room, and please don't leave it because the entire room resets, we're going to try to get every coin, we are going to try to get the room key, and we are going to unlock that room. Once you unlock the room, you will see a treasure, and it is the Zoom Shoes, and that will give your characters a plus 10 in the speed rating. It is an accessory, so you will have to sacrifice some things uh, if you decide to equip it. Meanwhile, during the Lava Blubble exercise, Mario got to level 18, so he is just cruising along with his experience points. So we make ourselves to this new room, Booster welcomes us once again, but he's getting a little annoyed with us. So what does he decide to do? He decides to throw some bomb bombs at us. This is a theme that he likes to do. But if you just go around the corner, you can hide from the bomb bombs and take no damage. And then eventually he goes away and you can continue on in your adventure.
we come through the door and oh it's chomp chomps as we go up so we'll battle them and earn some experience points there is another hidden treasure in this area and it ends up being a goodie bag which is just if you use it you get a bunch of coins which is lovely So we get to the final cutscene where Booster wants to play with his toys, but he can't find Mario. So he wants to look behind the curtains, but we as Mario are behind the curtains. And now we play this interesting mini game where we are trying to hide from the snifters. Eventually, we get caught, and Booster decides to boogie on out of there to marry more because he wants to take Peach to marry more to marry her. He tells us the password to the door, which is Techie, which is my Switch username, which is super interesting because it must be unique to all uh, Switch players who played the game. There must be some code in there that personalizes it, so that is a pretty cool Easter egg. So we make our way through the door thinking we're going to catch Booster and out of nowhere, we meet Knife and Great Guy. And this is sort of a random boss battle. There is no connection to Knife and Great Guy as we make our way up. It probably would have been a little bit better if we saw Knife or Great Guy or battled them like one at a time as we made our way up the tower, that would have established their characters. But alas, we now have to battle these clowns who are semi-powerful, but not as powerful as we are. And uh, we're gonna take care of business here. So let's see how this battle goes. All right, here we go. We got a double battle here, so we have some decisions to make. We will start off with our triple move Star Riders, which will do some damage to, let's see, we targeted Knife Guy here, and that's gonna hit him for 590, which is unbelievable. He hits us with a physical attack for one. That is not a big deal. We use Mario to do some ultra fireball action, which will hit both enemies without a problem. Knife guy 
Dunzo 394, but Great Guy is resistant to fire, so we're going to avoid doing that. Let's see if he's resistant to electric. Nope, he's weak to it, so he's going to get hit with 155. We got the Gino for 188, Mario for 258, and we'll hit him with a shocker and more powerful. We get the double, 230 on the weakness. Great guy tries Echo Finder and mutes us, which is no bueno, but that's okay. The 96 from Gino defeats the boss here. No issues. We crushed it. And let's get on with our adventure. So there's that battle. We took care of business. No problems there. But we have to ask ourselves the question. Where did Booster go? How can we catch him? Will Peach be saved? All that and more in the next part of our Super Mario RPG walkthrough and playthrough. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you see, leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Are you playing Super Mario RPG, the 2023 version? Let me know. We appreciate your support of the channel, and we hope to see you next time in part 11. This was part 10, which was all about Booster's Tower. We'll see you next time, nerds, and keep on gaming.